when we do finally get a new Stargate, and we will, which piggin subscription are you going to have to pay for to watch it? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So as you know, if you're a regular side tracker, I am incredibly confident that we're going to be getting a new Stargate series. I think we're going to be getting announcements sometime in the new year around the launch of MGM+. Plus. If you don't know, Epix in the United States is a streaming service owned by MGM. Amazon, as the new owners, have now decided to rebrand Epix into MGM+. Plus. Similarly, how Paramount+, Plus, Disney+, Plus, you see where I'm going with this. If you're also a regular side tracker, you'll know that I have a couple of people through pure luck that I get to speak to in the industry and that get to feed me bits of information. One of those people gets to work quite closely in marketing. And they told me a few months ago that there was actually strategy meetings regarding Stargate and that these meetings weren't a right Stargate's been decided what we're going to do with it kind of meeting. It was a if we decide to do Stargate, how are we going to proceed? And there was lots of discussions about the best way to announce it to maximize clicks and maximize interest in the series. Now, that person has been in contact with me again because they've been involved with further marketing meetings. But these meetings weren't anything to do with Stargate, but they will give us an idea of what Amazon will decide to do with Stargate once they decide to finally pull the trigger and make the series that we're also desperately waiting to see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with all of your other Gator friends. Also, you can go to side-trek.com for brilliant Stargate-related merch, just like this. You can even buy socks. And don't forget the Side Trek Sides channel, where I do loads of little live videos and other fun stuff. All of the links are in the description. So, what were the meetings about? Well, in this case, they were actually mostly talking about the Epix TV series, Billy the Kid, and how to promote that worldwide. But more generally, the meeting was about transferring Epix into MGM+, Plus, how to best promote the series that currently are made directly for Epix, and what TV shows are going to be made in the future. Now, they did obviously focus on the Billy the Kid series that is currently not available in Europe. We cannot watch it anywhere. I should also say that these meetings have been held over the last six weeks or so. Epix is going to be moving over and becoming MGM Plus on January the 15th. Now, when that was announced, a bunch of other TV shows, etc., were also announced, second series of a few big Epix projects, as well as a bunch of unscripted stuff. Billy the Kid is obviously going to be on Epix and continue to be on MGM Plus. Worldwide, though, it will eventually appear on Prime. Now, the point of this meeting was to discuss what to do with MGM Plus and what the strategy for outside of the United States would be for TV shows like Billy the Kid and other shows yet to be announced like Stargate. Well, the plan is, as I say, big TV shows that are produced directly by MGM or Epix in this case will continue to appear on MGM Plus in the United States. Outside of the United States, however, they will appear on Prime. Now, this is quite normal. For example, The Expanse, the first three series, um, were shown on the Sci-Fi Network in the United States. The rest of the world knew it as a Netflix TV show. As far as I knew, it was a Netflix original. It said Netflix original on the show. For example, Star Trek Picard. The first two seasons appeared in the UK on Amazon. But over in the United States, I believe they appeared on CBS All Access. Um, anybody in the comments, you want to correct me on that, but I'm going to believe that's how it worked. Now we have Paramount Plus. I don't actually know if it's going to go directly to um, Paramount Plus or still appear on Amazon. I'm not sure a decision has been made on that, but Amazon paid for the international distribution rights. Now, this will work in a similar way to that, but obviously Amazon is the parent company. So MGM products will continue to focus on MGM Plus. However, worldwide, those same products will appear on Prime. So when new Stargate goes out, if they continue to follow along this model, and according to the meeting and the people I've spoken to, that is the plan, Stargate will appear on MGM Plus in the United States when it is brand new. 
Now, that's a very good point because I should also say that the idea will then be that when it's not brand new, it might then appear on Prime at a later date in the United States to join SG-1, SG Atlantis and SG Universe. In the rest of the world, the international rights will be with Amazon. So we will see it on Amazon Prime. Now, I've been told previously, a couple of months ago, that we will be getting Stargate on Amazon Prime worldwide in the coming months. But that might take a little while because there are quite big contracts with people like Sky TV here in the United Kingdom. If you are in the United Kingdom, you watch Stargate on either Now TV or Sky, both of which are owned by Sky. Now, they have quite a good deal with MGM that was actually signed before the sale went through to show Stargate. However, if you actually go on Sky at the moment, you'll see that a lot of the episodes have started to disappear. We don't actually have Stargate Universe either. As the contract comes towards an end and begins to lapse, the content is being removed and very shortly will disappear entirely. At that point, worldwide, we will have all the Stargates in one place on Amazon Prime. So there we have it. Here in the UK, I already have Amazon Prime, so I cannot wait for that little Stargate symbol to appear and for me to watch the brand new series at some point towards the end of 2023. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, it really helps us out. And if you really want to support the channel, become a fully fledged side tracker and consider hitting the join button. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.